So, so far, we've documented over 31,000 veterans uh, starting in the, Re the American Revolution. First at 11, ensuring history is remembered. A small group of volunteers is working every day this summer to find every veteran's gravesite and bring their stories to light. Thanks for choosing us tonight. I'm Evan Millward. Reporter Jake Ryle is in Walnut Hills, where those volunteers have been actively looking for those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. Well, this volunteer led effort has been decades in the making, and the goal is to ultimately find every single grave site for veterans in Hamilton County who have served and died. Sometimes the challenge isn't in remembering. Uh, there's got to be one around here somewhere. But for Jeff Herbert, there's another World War One two there. It's finding a way to never forget. Sad thing about you know the project like this and and going through it is you find out that a lot of our veterans that served our country died subsequently very young. Um, they're buried in single graves. They're forgotten. That is until now. The treasurer of the Hamilton County Genealogical Society, Herbert's on a different kind of mission for these veterans. This one here, you can see he served in the New York, uh, the 10th New York Infantry. He, along with a group of volunteers, are mapping out every veteran's grave site, 31,000 so far. They're taking plot maps dating back to the 1930s and bringing them into the 21st century, digitizing maps like this. And from there, it's up to the volunteers. You just walk along, um, identify, in this case, a World War II veteran. Um, right next to it's a Korean War veteran and so forth. Take a picture of it and go home, post-process it, upload it onto Find a Grave, and then document their service um, as a veteran who's buried in Hamilton County. The Genealogical Society will then alphabetize every name, every veteran from the American Revolution to World War I. This year, the focus is on World War II and the Korean War. And there's no doubt. Walnut Hills took about three weeks for one volunteer. So Spring Grove took a whole summer. That was last year. It will take time. It's a great way to get in 10,000 steps. Every step closer toward ensuring every veteran's story will never be forgotten. So it's important to recognize and remember the service that they gave to our country um, and try to commemorate what they've done for us. In Walnut Hills, Jake Ryle, WCPO 9 News. And Ohio officials want you to report any rundown cemeteries you may find. State law requires they be maintained under certain guidelines like monthly grass cutting, monthly trash and flower removal, and maintaining the roads, buildings, and fences. If a cemetery's management isn't meeting those standards, you can file a complaint at funeral.ohio.gov.